that's the perfect picture. Peace, reflections. You. What's going on? Y'all come in the room real quick. We're going live. And, um, as the title says, you know, we're going to talk about something really important. It's a very important title. What's up, y'all? Am I coming in clear to you? Am I clear to you? What's up, my yacht? Peace to everybody out there, all the chosen, all the woken. Just a disclaimer in this video, if you being negative in the comment section, you're going to get blocked by my wife. She's a, she's a moderator. Or she's going to block you or put you in timeout. So if you don't obey the rules as far as being respectful, putting out negative energy is going to get you blocked, all right? Just a disclaimer real quick. If you don't like what's going on or what's being said in this video, you don't have to watch it. And you don't have to be negative. Do not put negative out into your universe. If you have nothing positive to say, don't say it at all. And these oranges are so great. Look at you. It's crazy. All right. What's up, y'all? You want what? You want the shirt off? <laughs> Fine. Shirt off today. All right? Shirt on the day? Oh, he's got a shirt on the day. What's going on? He's got a shirt on. Um, that's not what matters. What matters is that we get this download. And in this video today, I'm going to be talking to you about... Seeking the kingdom of God. Now, what is that? When I first heard that, I, you know, that, that was like the obvious. It was like, okay, you know, and today I want to uh, basically break that down in the lamest terms. What does it mean to seek ye the kingdom of God? Okay? Um, so, boom. It's very important that we notice because I equivalent a lot of things to the Bible. I, I support certain things in the Bible. I will, and I, and I will tell you that the Bible is uh, a science book. The Quran is a science book, and it's all based in astrology. But there's not a mistake why we got the Bible and why why you was born into a reality where the Bible was forced upon you as a child and someone told you about God and all that. It's just that they told you the version of the lower self. There's a higher self's version of the information that you're not getting. And I try to take and decipher and decode this information so that it's plain and simple for you. Dirt bike galore out here. Um, so it's plain and simple for you so that you uh, can understand some of the things that, that was forced upon you as a child. It wasn't forced upon you for no reason. Religion wasn't given to you for no reason. It was to give it to you so that you can keep it so that you can decode it when the time came, like now. Now all of that information wasn't for nothing. All of that information that you was given in church, when you had to sit in church as a child, you had to read the Bible, you had to go to church, it wasn't for nothing. Hold on real quick because they bike is loud as hell. And they going by. Okay, so when you had to sit in church and you basically had to do what your mother told you to do, pop your mouth, you was raised in Pentecostal Baptist church, it wasn't for nothing. You did not log on to this reality and get information that you got for no reason. Now, the information was flawed, yes, and it was given to you by the lower self, but the information also has a divine meaning as far as astrology goes. As far as a lot of, a lot of good wisdom and knowledge comes out of these science books. The Bible is a science book, a mathematical science book. It is based in astrology. Uh, the Quran is a mathematical book based in astrology, and it's not that you throw away this information, but you decode this information. This, code, this information has been genetically modified, and now if we have the right uh, wisdom and knowledge... Hold on. Hold on. If 
we have the right wisdom and knowledge, what we're going to be able to do is decipher the, and decode these Bible codes. Uh, like my man, uh, this, this is a great teacher. Look him up. His name is Santos Bonaki. Santos Bonaki breaks down the Bible and shows you how it's astrology. I love the Proverbs of the Bible. I love the character Jesus in the Bible. Not that the, it, he ever existed. Not that he was white or light or brown or dark brown or whatever. If he was a male or a female, I don't care. The character is who I fell in love with, okay? The biography of what he stood for, um, you know, the Christ consciousness, what, he, what his consciousness was, what he meant in, in the times and the place that he was in. He was like the Tupac of his time. And he's like the me of my time. So I, I always have related with Jesus. I'm a big fan of Jesus, the Christ, and I'm about the Christ. I'm about what Jesus stood for, okay, more than anything, understand me? So um, I'm like a big fan of Jesus, you know. The rest of the Bible, some of it's been tainted with. It's been genetically modified, but I do refer to the Bible. My One of my favorite verses in the Bible was when Jesus was talking about um, not serving money. As soon as Jesus said, don't serve money, in Matthew 6, a whole bunch of people got crazy worried. They got worried. They're like, what do you mean we can't serve money? Jesus said in Matthew 6 and 24, he basically said, listen, if you're going to serve God, you can't serve money. You can't serve God and money. You're going to have to serve one. Now, in this passage, Jesus was talking to the people and people got scared. They're like, what do you mean we can't serve money? How are we going to eat? How are we going to get clothing? How are we going to get shelter? And then down the line, if you look, Jesus starts to tell them, do not worry. Your heavenly father knows everything you need. And basically in that segment, Jesus breaks down and says, seek ye the kingdom of God first and everything else shall be added unto you. Now, in that passage, when you hear that, you're like, okay, seek ye the kingdom of God first and everything shall be added unto you. Now, in this video i'm going to be breaking down to you what is the what exactly is the kingdom of god and how to seek it okay so let's get right into it the kingdom of god is within you is your mind this is this is god god is nature that is the nature that is nature everything that you see outside of you that's natural the world that you live in is a fabricated fake ass world made from the kingdom the true kingdom which is nature the natural world the real world the elements water earth fire the sun and oxygen the air so these are the four elements these are the kingdom of god these are make the ether okay so the natural world is the kingdom of god you call it the animal kingdom but it's really the nature it's the god's kingdom and the devil came and built his own, it's, not a he or a she, it's, own, it's a spirit, its own world. With, from these natural elements, built its own world, what we call Babylon today. And your whole world is made up of metal, which comes from the earth, wood, which comes from trees, and plastic, which comes from oil. Your whole world, look around you right now, look at any product you have. I have uh, some oranges right here. This is made from plastic. Your phone is made from the earth and all of the earth's elements and all of the things from the earth. All of this is made from these elements. Okay? So this world that you live in is they place concrete on the ground. Right? And dirt was on the ground and they placed concrete on it so that you can use rubber on your tires to, trans to transport yourself from A to B. Okay, and a metal car made from the earth, metal. Now, with that being said, your whole world is a fabricated world. And when we say the grid, you build things, they, the lower self builds things in square feet. There's no squares in nature, but the lower self uses squares to build things in. So when we say we're living in the matrix in the grid, what we're saying is that we live inside these squares. This cell phone that you're on right now is a square. Look around you, everything is square. They build things in square feet. But if you look at nature, there's no squares. Everything is spiral. Everything is oval. Everything is round. There is no natural squares in nature. But the lower self has built a fake matrix 
which is just a simulated environment inside of an environment that was already here. They built the ecosystem within the ecosystem, okay? The plumbing system that you have is a replica of the, the waterfalls, the rain, and basically the cycle of the water cycle. They emulated that in their fake little version of it, okay? And um, so basically you're living in a fake natural world. You're, well, not even fake natural, you're just living in a world that's emulating the technologies of the natural world and at the same time going against the natural world. Instead of going with the flow of nature, the devil decided to make its own world and make nature do what it wants it to do instead of doing what nature want it's it to do, wants it to do. So, excuse me. In this passage, in the Bible, in Matthew 6, Jesus starts to talk. He said, you cannot serve money. You can't serve the bank. In your world today, the devil, the devil. I know you think the devil is a he. But the devil is not a he or a she, it's a spirit. The devil today, it runs the bank. And it uses money as its primary life force. So money being used at, from the bank is being used to be in the way of your what is free for you naturally. Fresh water is your birthright. Fruit, food from the earth is your birthright. You should not have to pay. You should not have to pay for what you are born to have. You shouldn't have to pay to live. Okay? Your shelter, you should not have to pay to be in a sheltered place so that you won't get rained on. That's your natural right. You should not have to pay for pure oxygen where they're spraying you like you're some farm. They're farming you. Okay? But now... What they've done in their world is it took the natural resources and used your human nature, which is to be uh, is to take the path of least resistance and be and take the most convenient route. And they made things very convenient for you in your world. Things are very convenient for you. And it's human nature for us to take the path of least resistance. So now you are stuck on this rat wheel going after what's naturally your birthright, okay? And what Melanation and Asia Boy and my team are trying to show you is that you can live without that, okay? And so Jesus in the Bible was telling these people the same thing. He was saying that, you know, in Matthew 6, 24, you cannot serve God and money. And people were like, probably like you are right now, well, how you pay your bills, how you get clothes, how you get this and that. And then Jesus goes on to talk about, do not worry. Why do you worry? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, nor, nor do they reap, but they do not sow or store away in barns, but your heavenly father takes care of them daily. If you look in the nature, everything is working for something else. And he says, why do you worry about clothes? Isn't the body worth more than clothes? Divine wisdom. And so the people were like confused. They're like, yo, the, you know, my whole life I've been working. What are you talking about? And so Jesus goes on to say, um, look at the flowers of the field. Not even King Solomon in all his splendor are dressed like one of these. It's poetic at best. Jesus is bringing people back to nature. He's showing people natural, the natural world and telling them that the flower, God dressed the flower. Wouldn't he dress you? And the flower's already dressed. And so Jesus is telling them about their skin and how their skin is their clothes. And so their eyes become open into the Christ conscious, bringing them into the Christ conscious. He's bringing them into the Christ consciousness. He says, look at the flowers of the field and how they're here today and gone tomorrow. Not even... I and I tell you, not even King Solomon in all of his glory is dressed like one of these. And so the flowers 
are dressed the way they are naturally and they're in their natural environment and they're thriving. And wouldn't your heavenly father care? Aren't you more valuable than a, than a blade of grass? Than a flower? Do you not think that your heavenly father will take care of you as it takes care of everything else in nature? We are the only ones that pay to live. We are the only ones that pay for shelter. We are the only ones that shower on a daily basis. We are the only beings and species in this realm where there's trillions of other species that live the way we live. Yet we are, the, we are supposedly the most conscious. How are we the most conscious when a female cannot let her nipples be out, but a male can? What is the scientific reasoning behind a woman having to hide her nipple rather than a male having to hide his? As intelligent beings, we should have some kind of philosophy for that. But we don't. It makes no sense. You drink from the nipple, which you're supposed to drink life force from the nipple. Yet we hide the nipple. We sexualize the female nipple and has and has hid it. This is retardation. This is a under the mental underdevelopment. This is a retarded act that we do publicly. We sit on a chair with water in it and then empty our soil into it and then flush it down a toilet only to get in the shower to use the same water this is mental retardation we are asleep we are unconscious of our actions and have no true conscious uh philosophies behind or reasoning behind why we do what we're doing but when questioned people just kind of like say i don't know it's just what we were taught to do well your mother potty trained you told you to sit on the toilet told you to and then congratulated you and domesticated you as a dog would be domesticated into a family of humans. A dog belongs with dogs. But we will be mad at a dog if a dog even emulates its natural behavior within around us. If a dog poops in the house, we will be mad that the dog was being a dog because you want the dog to be a human. Because we do not respect nature. We're not taught to respect nature is are you on the internet can you get on the other one because um it's freezing up on me it's saying poor connection and we do have good internet here this is bananas we you was on the i was on the closed one too okay can y'all hear me out there i want to continue to What made me get tattoos? Um, my lower self. Like I said, my lower self got tattoos. Um, I came up in the world you came in. I was in my lower self at, at one time, and, and I got tattoos, bro. Like, what do you... I wear a chain on my neck because I like this gold chain. This is a gift to myself I gave to myself a long time ago. And gold comes from um, exploding stars. It's unlike crystals where they're in the earth already. Gold comes from space, from meteorites that from uh, supernovas that blow up. Look up where gold comes from. But that's neither here or there. Let's get back on subject. Okay, so, um, and don't pay attention too much to, to, the, to, the, to the messenger. Just pay attention to the message more than anything and apply it to your life. If it don't apply to your life, dip out. See you later, adios, peace, reflection. Step off. Don't worry about me. I'm straight, you know what I'm saying? I'm sharing with you what I have because my life is... A beautiful one and I and I wish to give that to everybody that you know that I, that is out there that's struggling you know my knowledge is no good to, to, to only me once I've applied it to my life and it's shown to be real and true and I I'm supposed to give it to you it's, it means nothing to me if I cannot help someone else be free so therefore take the message and take the information and keep it moving okay I love myself I love I love all of you guys you know what I mean because you are me in all levels, whatever level of consciousness you in, you know, even my critics, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but if you're going to criticize me, you got to do better. You got to be doing better than me in life. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta be doing better than me in life. You got to be actually doing better and living more pure than I am in life. Then you can criticize me and then come to me and I'll, I'll take your criticism. It doesn't matter. But either way, back, back to the subject at hand. 
So Jesus is telling these people in Matthew 6 to please walk away from your pagan life. And your heavenly father will mysteriously take care of you. If you seek ye the kingdom of God first, everything else will be added unto you. Now, how do I put that in today's language, Nature Boy? What does that mean today? Fuck all that. I need that. I need that. I need to Nature Boy. Break that shit down to me so we can so I could apply it to my life today. Fuck all that other shit. How, how do I make it so it, it applies to me right now? How can I make the Bible me right decode it right now? I'm going to teach you how to seek you the kingdom of God first. You ready? When you wake up every day, to seek the kingdom of God is to help others. What do you have to offer to someone else? First, before you want to offer anybody else, a lot of people out there are beautiful people. You got a lot of people that's beautiful people that will give people their last but don't know how to receive shit. They overgivers. You have to have a balance in giving and receiving. Okay? First of all, there must you must seek balance. Do not give more than you can give. Only give what you can give. Make sure that you are together first. Number one in seeking ye the kingdom of God first is learn yourself. Know thyself. Study thyself. Inside and out. Go on a journey within your own mind. Okay? First thing you want to do is make sure you know your astrological energy. You study yourself. You feed your cells the right food and environment because food is environment. People are food. P places are food. Things are food. Food. Whatever you put in your mouth, whatever you are around is food. Or whatever music you're listening to, whatever you are receiving as far as electrical signals from your five senses is food. Everything is food. Everything is sex. Everything is intercourse. Remember I told you that. Do not fucking be fooled by this vegan diet shit. Although you should be eating from the earth organically, vegan. But do not do not think because you are vegan that that's all that matters. No. That's only like 1% of it. Being vegan is not enough. It's a start. You must learn how to Understand people as food, your environment as food. You must give yourself the very best sunlight, oxygen, water, in food from the earth. This is how you start to love yourself first. Before you help anybody else, you must learn yourself and seek ye the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God is you. You must seek yourself. And everything else will be added unto yourself. You are the kingdom of God. Your mind. Everything that you see and everything that you are. You must seek yourself first and love and know and accept yourself first. If you cannot love and accept yourself first, you will never ever be able to help or be of service to anyone else effectively. Okay, so now you must forgive yourself. You must eat the best food. You must give yourself the very best people. You must love yourself, have confidence in yourself, study yourself, know your weakness, know your astrological energy, study astrology, get your birth chart done in and out. You should know your past life report. Go to Grupo Venus. Go to masterteachernatureboy.com. We have an astrology section where you can find your birth chart there. Reflection. You must love yourself. Seek ye this yourself first. Know yourself first. That's when the Bible says, seek ye the kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto you. It was basically saying, know thyself. You must know yourself first. Study yourself. What is melanin? What is your hair for? And you must accept yourself the way you are. It's okay to dress yourself up, your natural self up. But you must accept your natural here. You must accept who you are completely. And accept yourself when everybody else in the world or the world might say who you are in the world that you live in. 
the mainstream media might depict you to be ugly. And that the, the light-skinned human with stringy hair or straight hair is the beautiful one. But you, this is a challenge. This is an obstacle. You must understand. There's nothing to make up for. You are beautiful the way you are. And if you cannot accept yourself, you will never be able to accept something else. If you cannot live in harmony with your own body, you cannot live in harmony with your external world or anybody in the external world until you are living in harmony with yourself. You must respect laws of nature. You must respect nature and the flow of uh, organization and order and the laws of nature and know why and fear breaking those laws. That is the first sign of wisdom is the fear of the laws of God, of the laws of nature and don't break them and live in tune with them. So I have helped you with my page here on, on YouTube. I have made playlists for you to help you come into the light. I have made uh, many videos helping you try to come into your higher self to assist you on your process of becoming your higher self and knowing yourself. You must study astrology. You must study and keep the 42 laws of Mayat and study the hermetic principles and understand them and put them in your heart so that you may unlock, so you may have the key, the unk, okay, to unlock the doors, which are the chakras, to come into your higher self. Each chakra, you must travel the kundalini to come to your higher self. You must pick up your cross and walk up your kundalini into your higher self. You see, in order to do this, that's a beautiful instant burning, if you're asking where the smoke is coming from. Um, in order to do this, you must simply... And truly accept yourself the way you are. Know thyself. Study thyself. Study what your hair is for. Nature Boy does all this for you. I break down your whole anatomy on my page. I break down what your body is for. Every piece of your body. And let you see how beautiful the body is. Because the body is your soul. It is the kingdom of God. If you cannot love yourself. Then you will never know the kingdom. You will never enter the kingdom because you do not love yourself. You do not embezzle yourself in love. You do not allow people around you that will love you truly and accept you the way you are. How can anybody accept you the way you are if you will not accept yourself the way you are? If you cannot look at yourself and say, you know what? This is me. This is who I am. And you look into your world and you accept that. And then will you attract people to help you love and accept that as well. And that is true love. True love is accepting the way you are and loving your flaws until your flaws become your strengths. Knowing thyself, studying yourself. The more you know yourself, the more you're going to be able to help somebody understand their self. This is why I have so much wisdom because I know myself. For years, since 2008, I've been studying astrology. I'm an astrologist. So I've helped so many people understand how they are different from everyone else. Even though we're essentially the same being, as far as the soul goes, as God goes, we're different vibrations of God. And what makes you different is your astrological birth chart. And once you realize that, then you stop uh, looking completely at colors. A lot of you have to come out of the race thing, man. So get out of the race. Okay, there's only melanin. There's only melanin. You either have more or you have less. If you have more, you have a gift. Unravel, unravel it. Connect back to nature. And then when you do that, you're going to want to help somebody that don't have what you have. When you have money, give it. Make sure you have enough, but then give the rest to other people that don't have what you have. Spread it out evenly. Don't be greedy. Don't have false sense of pride. Pride is good. Pride in the wrong place is deadly. Okay? Have pride in being righteous. Make sure you are proud of being righteous and not proud of being a dickhead. 
excuse my language, I told people I would cut down back on cursing. But then again, you know how I am. So to seek ye the kingdom of God, you must know thyself first. Everything else will be added unto you. And do not worry about what you do not have. Do not worry about money. Know yourself. Study yourself. Go in deep. Isolate yourself from the world or those that don't know who they are. Number one, you must take up your cross and you must die. Now to be crucified, you must die. Many times you will die. Now when I say die, Am I talking about a physical death when I'm saying you need to be reborn? No. Just like Nicodemus asked Jesus. He said, Jesus, how can a man be reborn and go back into his mother and be reborn? No, you have to be reborn of the spirit, your energy, your mind. Your mind must be reborn, your ego. You, your ego must die, ego death. You must become a new you. You must get a new ego. A higher frequency, a more expanded mind. A more open heart, which is your mind. Open your heart. Open your heart. And open your brain, which intellectualizes your heart. You are a walking heart. Because the beginning of your nervous system starts with your heart. The heart is the first organ developed in the body. And it makes your whole nervous system. Your brain is an extension of your heart. Your arms, your legs, your whole being is an extension of your heart. You are, a, you are, your heart is expressing itself with this being, okay? And you are basically your heart, okay? Study your Venus sign. It's so important to know, understand where your heart stands and what house is in. My Venus is in Pisces, in the fourth house, which is the house of Cancer. Where's your Venus? And then, once you know your Venus and what house it's in, ask yourself, where's my Mercury? Mercury is the planet that represents your communication. It actually connects. Mercury is actually connected through the neck from the heart, through the neck to the brain. Right here, Mercury connects to communicate. So if your throat chakra is closed because of where your Mercury is at, then it will be hard for your heart to you, you express your feelings or your what you're trying to say and articulate what you're trying to say because there's a processing effect there. And once you understand this weakness, you can work around it. It means you could do another way of articulating yourself. You know, verbal verbal is not the only way we articulate ourselves. We articulate ourselves through dance. I know I get my dance on. And then we articulate ourselves through art. All kind of art. That's what art is. Art is short for articulating. Um, through drawing, through music. You, know, you might be a rapper or something, you know, depending on where your Mercury is at. My Mercury is happens to be in Taurus and slash Virgo slash um Gemini. It makes in the seventh house, which is Libra. So it makes it a communic communicative communicative uh, you know expression. So it allows me to express myself verbally in a way that helps, you know, where other people, you might be in Pisces in a fourth house in Mercury, and, you know, this is not a good place for it, and it might be more difficult for you to articulate it in speaking, but you can do it better through art and music, and that's a gift. So, you'll see, your weakness becomes your strength once you know how to use your weakness and turn it into a strength. So most people that are artists, most people that talk... Um, most people that do music don't know how to talk. Ever notice that? Most artists don't know how to talk. So it's very important that you get your astrology done and to know thyself. If you want to seek ye the kingdom of God, you must know yourself. Then once you know yourself and you know everything about you and you've isolated yourself and you've been alone for a while and you you really on it, like you really on it, like you really learning and you really doing your thing. After that, now you're ready to give. Now you are equipped to help, to properly help someone else. Not only that, but when you do, 
you will attract everything that you truly ever desired to you. I promise you, money, people, everything that you need to love you and make you feel heaven on earth will come to you once you know thyself and you get through these processes of understanding who you are. It is not easy. A lot of you have different uh, setups. You know, depending on what you did your last lifetime, you might have uh, family members you got to let go, you know, loved ones that you got to say bye to, or, you know, and I tell you just to use your social media to talk to them because it's hard. It's hard out there walking away from somebody that you've been caring about your whole life and then you wake up to what you got to do and then these people not really rocking with you. So you got to go on your social media and love these people every day and share the information. You won't have to let go of who you used to be that was attached to them and it feels like dying. And then in the Bible, Jesus says again, if your arm hinders you from entering the kingdom of knowledge of self, that means your, your knowledge, once you have all this knowledge of self, is going to take you on a journey. You see? All these questions should take you on a quest. In that quest, that's your journey. On that journey, you gain wisdom from acting out the knowledge of what you know. You learn what not to do, what to do, and now you can share with others what you know, okay, in whatever way you can articulate it, okay? Um, people are always going to hate on you. People are, you are always going to be met with adversities. That is normal. That means you're doing the right thing. You're going to be have, you're going to have haters. You're going to have your lower self taunting you the whole time. Okay? You have to get used to that. Build some tough skin. People are always going to try to bring you down and talk, da talk you down and, you know, and criticize you. But if you have a strong root, which is your knowledge and wisdom and your, you have a strong root. When the wind blows and the storms come, you will be steady in your knowledge and wisdom and you will be armed with the chest plate of wisdom and a sword of knowledge. Trust me, this is all metaphysical. Your death is metaphysical. Okay, so you must learn to die. You must learn to die, all right? And um, so this is how we seek ye the kingdom of God. I wanted to make a video about this, letting go of what you used to be to come into what you truly are, okay? And it doesn't matter. This, this information is, is going to help somebody. If I have one person out there, I really appreciate everybody that's supporting us um, on our new website. Shout out to my, um, my, my web designer, you know. Uh, you know, he's doing an excellent job. Shout out, to, oh man, shout out to anybody that uh, has donated money to Melanation. I wanted to, I wanted to talk about this. You know, um, a lot of, I had, a, I had a recent conversation with a lady that she said she's a pastor, but she works at a bank. And I thought that was funny. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. How can you be a pastor and work at a bank? That doesn't even make sense. Because you were good at a bank, you giving all your money back to the bank, which is the devil. The devil runs the bank. The devil owns the bank. The devil uses the bank as a as a fake resource or as a tool put in front of our natural birthrights, which is food, oxygen, water, fresh water, and um and sunlight. And so, in order for us to get what's naturally ours, we have to first go gain this paper that's even made from plants. And what we're spending the money on, literally, is giving it back to the bank. So if I work at a bank and I pay my rent, which is an apartment complex that's owned by the bank, then I pay my car note, which is a company that that's owned by the bank, the bank owns my car, they own my shelter, and I'm basically going to work every day and the most of my money is going to food, shelter, and car note. If these are the three things that I'm giving my, 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 my universe back, 
I'm working for shelter, my car, and food, basically. These are the basic survival needs. These things are free. These things should be free. I just want you to know that. You shouldn't have to pay for that. I want you to know that money is a game that you're playing that you shouldn't have to play. Okay? And I'm going to get into how you can work for God and still get money. I'm going to show you how. This is what I do. I don't know where my money is going to come from, but it comes. And I'm a living witness in telling you this. I don't work for no devil. I don't work for the bank. I, all I do is my videos. I don't have an ad resource where ads are popping up so I can make money off my YouTube. I don't make money from these videos. But somehow, some way, money comes out of nowhere. And I've been living like this for years. Years. I am living the information that I am telling you. But you must hop out on faith. It's very scary at first. But you will be taken care of. So I told the lady, I said, you're basically working for the bank and giving your money back to the bank. And she said, you know what? You're right. I said, yes. Um, why don't you give money? If you're going to be there, why don't you give money to people like my organization, like Melanation? Why don't you give money or donate money to, to your higher self? Why don't you take your money, put it to the side and get out of your lower self? Why don't you put money to the side and get out of your lower self and get out of this trap, this will they got you in? You can't own a car. I don't care if it's a Bugatti. You cannot own that piece of metal. It's impossible for you to drive that car without insurance. Insurance lets you, is, is attached to the bank. It's impossible for you to have that car and own it. It's impossible for you to own land because they pay. you have to pay taxes on it. You can't own none of this stuff. You're not going to own anything. Okay? So let's stop playing the money game. The paper game. Let's stop playing it. And then you would say, well, how are you making money, nature boy? How are you getting what you got? It just comes to me. And I use it and I give them what's theirs. I render to Caesars what is Caesars. Because in the Bible, when Jesus was approached by the tax collectors and they were trying to trick him into breaking the law, he was going to see if he was telling people not to pay taxes. And... They came to Jesus and said, Jesus, how do you feel about the imperial taxes? And then Jesus said, oh, why are you trying to trick me? He said, come, who's on the, who's on the denarius, the money? He basically, whose imprint is on the money? And um, they came and brought it to him and they said, Caesar, Caesar's on the money. He said, well, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, meaning that the money belongs to the government. Give the government what belongs to the government and God what belongs to God, which is you belong to nature. Give you to nature and give the money to the bank. This is their money. Do not possess this money like it's yours. It's not your money. You must realize that this money does not belong to you and you're playing a game called money. You're playing a game called America. You're playing a game called the United States Corporation. And you don't have to play it to survive and live and thrive. To enter the kingdom, you must actually let it go. So playing this game called money, it's the paper game. They steal your food, right? They take all your food, which is your resource, then put money in front of it and say, you have to go get money in order to get this food this is called a simulated environment like a zoo. A zoo, that's how they're able to control lions, tigers, bears, sharks, oh my. Because they take the resource, the food from the animal, and then feed the animal from young, and then they can control the animal. Now, the animal that is born in the zoo thinks what's going on in the zoo is normal. And so they are waiting for the owner to come give them their food or click a button or... Jump up and down for some food. This is unnatural. And I'm here to tell you that you are in the zoo. It is not normal. It's not real. And that's not how things are supposed to be. Just so that you can know. You don't have to listen to me. Do what you want. 
but I'm just putting you on. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, like, this is not real life. You're in a zoo. If one of the animals from the zoo gets free and tell the rest of the lions, yo, we're not supposed to be living like that. We're supposed to be out hunting for our food, bro. Like, we're lions. Some of the lions are going to be offended because all they know and all that they live is that life. And they're like, who are you to judge us? Because you want to go be wild. Okay, look, I'm just on my channel and I'm just sitting here telling those that vibrate to it, what's the deal? I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm just telling you what's going on. If that offends you, I'm sorry to all the other lions in the zoo. I'm, I apologize. I'm free and I want you to be free too. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> you know? And that's how Nature Boy feels because I'm talking to other humans. And I'm telling other humans, listen, man, um, you don't have to pay for life. You don't have to pay to live. People have to pay to die. You don't even die for free. Your funeral ain't even free. People are still in debt. My wife, Fury, when she was in her lower self, when she was working, she used to work for a cancer company. And in this cancer company, she used to have to call the people that died's family to get to collect debt from the family after they have just experienced the death of someone in their family and mourning them. She still has to collect the debt that that person, that cancer patient for the company. She had to do this. Literally. I said, wow, that's crazy. So you see, you don't have to play the money game. The money game... You don't have to work for the bank to work for a society that's assimilated an environment that is killing the earth. And I tell you again that the people that own the bank, the devil, not a woman, not a man, but a spirit that's upon humans. This spirit does not care and not know thyself. It's not worried about anything but greed and the seven deadly sins. And this spirit permeates in all of us and we can feed it if we choose to. Or we can feed our higher self, more pure self, which is nature. Now, the people that run the country that you live in, they do not care about money because they have money, obviously. These people have a different agenda. Their agenda is to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the devil comes to do. The devil comes to do nothing more than kill, steal, and destroy. If I have all the money, all the riches, what else do my, what is my agenda? To control power. But what, what do I need your control? What do I need to control you for? So I need to distract you and control you so I can continue to destroy the planet. But while you're worried about money and your bills and getting your food, your shelter, oh, that's the greatest distraction. Good. Money. Throw money out there. Let them run after money. While they're running after money, we'll destroy the planet right in front of their faces and we'll make them even participate in it. And guess what? They ask for it because this country, this corporation is ran off of supply and demand. The reason why there's so much junk food, the reason why there's still McDonald's is because people are still eating McDonald's. The reason why there's fucked up food and GMO food is because people are buying it. If people don't buy it, it's not, it can't exist. So therefore, we are our own problem. So therefore, you have a choice. You can be a part of the problem or you can be a part of the solution. Seek ye the kingdom of God first and everything else shall be added into you. You're not going to know. There's no, there's no format for this. The only format is to have faith in God. Have faith. It's the only format. If you cannot have faith, and have a pure heart to do the right thing, to give, to love yourself and position yourself and seek yourself and put yourself in the best environment. Let me tell you something. You are not a drop in the ocean. What you do affects everything. You are so powerful. Each one of you are so powerful. What you do affects everything. If you decide to leave that society, you are one less person. That's a part of the disaster. And whether it gets destroyed or not, your conscience is clear. You don't have to be a part of it. It's your choice to be a part of it. You could say, fuck it. I'm not going to play this game. I'm going to do this. 
I'm going to seek you the kingdom of God first and allow everything else to be added into me. I'm going to know myself. I'm going to study myself. I'm not going to hate. I'm going to understand my enemy. I'm not going to hate. Love is understanding. To love your enemy, you must understand your enemy. And then you must space yourself between your enemy. And you must know your enemy first. Know that no one is your enemy but you. It is not what happens to you is what you how you respond to what happens to you. You see? Do not hate in your heart. Your heart will be judged. You will judge yourself in the end. You know you better than anyone. You can't hide from your subconscious. Your subconscious is going to judge you in your actions. Ain't that crazy? Your character that you're playing is going to be judged by your subconscious. Isn't that crazy? A, 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 another character external of what seems external from you is going to judge you in your own mind talking about your mind playing tricks on you yeah there's going to be a being maybe a deity you have created in your own mind maybe it's Jesus maybe it's Allah or whatever game you're playing with yourself that your, is your subconscious your subconscious makes a dream world where you come at the end of this life and you meet up with yourself and your self flashes itself to yourself and you judge your own self so if you hate people if you're hating on people if you're saying that oh this person is the devil or this person is white or you're hating them well you just might become one of them in your next life you see if you're gonna hate anything please hate the thing that makes people hate Hate the thing that makes people hate themselves. Be against that. And make a change. You be the change. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. Shh. Be the change the world needs. Don't just talk about it. Be active in what you're doing. Because all of your actions will be added up. And it's actually creating your next reality. You're creating your next world. The world you're living in today is a response to your other world. It's happening. This is all happening. Okay? This has all been written already. We're kind of running on this system that's already been written. The world that you're living right now has already been written from your past life. All you can do is something today that will change tomorrow. So guess what? You must live in the now. You must know yourself and stay positive. Don't put negative out and try to stay positive no matter what negative is in you. Work on that negative and turn it into a positive. Work on it. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore your issues. Work on your issues. Love yourself. Try to understand those that hate you. And understand why they hate you. So this way you won't hate them. So if somebody's sending hate your way. You can be like well they're going to hate me. Because they don't know themselves. And so you're going to have compassion. You're not going to feel hate to them. If a retarded person hits you. A retarded person is someone that's underdeveloped. Mentally. These people are mentally retarded. If they hate someone that speaks sanity into their lives but it's okay because if you hit me or you don't like me for some reason I'm okay with that because you're sick and I love you anyway I'm going to still put this into your subconscious because you, you don't know right now and this is what all of us must do okay don't hate people we're all one human race one human race we're all brown some more melaninated want some more melanated than others if you have more melanin don't flaunt it do not flaunt it. It's okay to be proud of it. But do not put your pride to the point of you think that you're better. And even if you are better, what makes you better is the fact that you can help someone else that is weaker than you. If you're stronger in some area and someone else is weak in that area, you are a coward to talk about somebody that's weaker in that area because they're mince, they're retarded in that area and you just as retarded as them to sit there and talk about them. You should be ashamed of yourself. If somebody needs to tell you about yourself, come out of that. Come out of that weakness. Come out of that cowardness. Come out of that hate in your heart, bro. Sis, come out of that. We love you. I love myself. You heard? Let's build. Let's get in tune with nature. Let's get closer to the sun. All of us. Anybody that's willing is God's child. Anybody, did you hear me? I said anybody that's willing is God's child. 
if they got a pure heart and they're willing to change, they're God's child. And anybody that causes God's children to, to stumble, and let me talk to you real quick about the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel is not the fucking Israelites that you see today. And I'm going to tell you this. Now, remember I told you this, okay? The 12 tribes of Israel, you ready? Is the Zodiac. Aries through Pisces, nigga. The 12 tribes of Israel is Aries through Pisces. The 12 Zodiac signs. Don't fall in... Don't fall in the abyss of bullshit that you're hearing out here. It's all astrology. Do you hear me? Don't fall for the trap reflection. It's astrology. All of these, the Bible, the Quran, all of them is based in astrology. Aries through Pisces are the 12 tribes. What tribe are you a part of? In the Eastern world, I'm an Aries. In the tropical, I'm a Taurus. What tribe are you a part of? The 12 tribe, the 12 constellations. The 12 constellations, reflection. The whole Bible was based in the articulation of nature, of the constellations. Remember? Remember? We created it, remember? I love myself, reflection. Seek ye the kingdom of God. Study your astrology. Study your birth chart, man. I haven't been online in a while, but I'm about to come back, man. I got stuff to talk about for y'all. I got stuff I want to share with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm going to come back. I'm going to deal with y'all again. You know what I mean? I got my team now. They strong. They master teachers. I got a team of master teachers with me now. It's crazy. Y'all don't even know what's coming. I got my own website now. Social media. I'm coming out with an app for all those that are on the wave. For everybody that's on this frequency, I'm making an app for you, man. I'm making an app so that we can communicate. You can make your own tribe. And y'all can lead together. Y'all can build together. We're going to build together. I'm making an app. My, my, my website. You can go on there and talk to people and communicate with people on my website. You know what I'm saying? People like us. The Christ conscious. You understand? The 144,000. I'm not talking to anybody else. I don't care about everybody else that's insulating this message. I ain't talking to nobody else. I'm talking to the chosen. People that's really trying to build a tribe and leave out of the lower self and really come into a higher self and get in tune with nature in Costa Rica. You could build your own tribe. I got I got that I got that on my website now. You could build your own tribe. I'm gonna be breaking down how to use my website. I got master teachers on the way. What? All my students that been rocking me from that from from the beginning, they master teachers now. I'm not the only master teacher no more. Y'all ain't even know EJ, OMAC. Um, key, master teachers. The other ones are just teachers, but they master teachers. They got all the information, all the knowledge. They about to be hitting y'all in the head, man. I done duplicated it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's more than one master teacher, man. Okay? So listen, man, melanation is the movement. It's not just dark skin. Melanated people. It's everybody that has melanin that wants to connect to the Christ conscious, the higher self. It doesn't matter what shade of brown you are. All of us are brown. All of humanity is brown. Get up off of that. Get up off of that thing. Living in America. <laughs> it's a man's world. Get up off that thing. You see? James Brown, that thing, man. Get up off that thing. That, that prejudice, get up off that thing. That's a trap. That black power movement, that's a trap. It's all about melanin reflection. If you got it, share it. If you got it, if you got a big heart, if you can connect to nature, then you're going to be more in tune with the universe and you ain't going to want to hate nobody. Those that choose to hate themselves, those that choose to hate themselves, Again, those that choose to hate themselves, let them hate. I hate what make them hate themselves. That's the only thing that I hate. I don't hate them. I hate what make them sick. I hate that thing that make them sick, that misinformation. I hate the genetically modified information that's been given to them by people that were genetically modified. I hate that. And so every day we come, we here, we here every day. I'm about to be back on Facebook. They done blocked me for another 30 days. That's why in, the, in those 30 days, I ain't let it stop me. 
I made Master Teach and NatureBoy.com. You dig? Shout out to my webmaster. You feel me? He gonna be here. He coming here soon. We working on an app for all of us, Reflection. We go, this way we could all connect to each other and communicate. I'm big on communication. Big on us being sales and all of us coming together and creating our own tribe. If you a leader, then be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Get together with other people on my website. Communicate. Bring it together. And let's just get together and have uh, all these different tribes called Melanation. We're a nation of hope of tribes. You heard the bing. I love my self-reflection. Y'all share this video if you can. Somebody need to break these videos down for me. You feel me? And share them out. I need y'all to be amplifying the message if you down with the team. Thank you for all the donations from the website. Y'all been donating. See, y'all give all y'all money to back to the bank, but some of y'all give y'all money to Melanation, which is the Christ conscious, helping us to do more with the, with the stuff that we have. You helping the higher self out when you give energy to the higher self. We appreciate you. Yo, good looking. Good looking on the donations to anybody that donated. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all, man. I love my, I love everybody out there. I love all of y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. We got to love ourselves. Reflection. Fuck going on? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck going on? Love yourself, my nigga. You feel me? Damn. And y'all getting blocked like a... Baby, you blocking the shit up. Damn, yo. Y'all better watch out. My wife is sharp with the block. She having a block party over here. Man, you made me get my soul to the tree. Yo, Reflection, that's real. Wow, you know what that make me feel like when you tell me stuff like that, bro? Hey now, three hour live, Nature Boy. Hey now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I used to I used to give it up like that though, for real. What's up, Roni? She said, what's up, Elizabeth? Gigi Bullock, what up, boy? Or girl? My yacht goddess, how you feeling? Brandon Smith. You said I made you give your soil good, then, I, then I've been blessed. That's some true blessings right there, bro. If I made you go give your soil back to the earth, the universe is going to bless me. What? Bro, why would you give it to anything else? You ate from the earth. You got to give the earth back your soil. What is the... That's what makes us rich. Right? Right? That's what makes us rich. Check this out. Check this out. The 12 tribes of Israel is Aries to Pisces. Fuck all that other shit. Think about that. I know that's talk to your DNA. That talk to your DNA. I know that's talking to your DNA. Because the 12 tribes, the 12 tribes is the 12 constellations. Think that talk to your DNA. It don't even take much. Yo, what up, tequila? To kill? To killy? What to eat? All right, I got you, bro. Yeah, man. When you eat, this will make you rich. When you eat your food, your food makes you automatically give back to the earth. Everything is in balance. You can never take more than you give. When you eat, it must come out as food to something else, not waste. It is food to whatever you eat. So therefore, you are already rich. If we're talking about the real ecosystem and we're talking about money being food and you giving back to the, to the needy, it is already set up that you are already rich. So when you eat something... It all come, you know, I'm, I'm happy, man. Y'all make me so fucking happy, man. I appreciate everything, yo. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. For real. Got my heart, yo. Fucks with y'all heavy, man. For real, man. Y'all go out here and shit this video, man. Word. That's what's up. Latoria. Illumi. What's up, man? It's us, man. We about to make this app, man. We about to really make this app, man. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for saying thank you, man. Yo, Crystal, what's up? Where you been? Yo, I know I've been on Facebook. You could have hit me on WhatsApp, though. Crystal, what's up? You changed my life. I did, Shannon. I appreciate the fact that I had sparked your life, bro. If I change your life, Shannon, I did my job. Because my life don't belong to me. My life belongs to someone else. And all I ask you to do is do the same thing for someone else. Do what I did for you to someone else.
Yeah, astrology one on one, yo. I'm telling you, you got to go do your own research. There's so much information on astrology. I'd rather not. I'd rather you just go into your chart. And what I did on my website is I put three beautiful websites where you can go get your uh, birth chart read. You can go get your birth chart read, man. You can't even get no better than that, bro. We got an astrology tab. The, the website is getting worked on daily. It's under construction. And you see it's like it's coming together. But it's something for us. You know what I'm saying? It's a start. It's a social media. We always talk about how they, how, uh, they keep blocking me on Facebook. I'm just coming off a 30-day block. We got a social media now for the children. You feel what I'm saying? All right, look. I got to cut this video. Um, we are the Christ conscious. No one from the dead to seek the crystals. It says, I know when to fall in and when to fall out. Reflection, I love my... You still spelling myself with an S, Crystal. What's going on? You went back in the Kundalini. You went back into your lower self. What's going on, bro? The Mentelec has opened my eyes. That's what's up, yo. Shout out to Mentelec. That got all my reflections out there that's working to help people become more conscious. Anybody out there that's helping people become more conscious, I fuck with you heavy. You know what I'm saying? And I just love everybody out there, man. For real. It's the movement, yo. Yeah, we got to go, though. I don't even want to leave, y'all. <laughs> Auto-correct? Okay. Okay, don't let you... No, no, no. Your, your, your phone should automatically correct you and put C-E-L-L-F. You know what I'm saying? Myself. But I'll give you that pass, Crystal. You know what I'm saying? What's up? How you been? Y'all been good? I hope all of y'all get the, get everything that y'all want in life, man. Every one of y'all, I hope everybody get what you desire in life, man. And I hope you desire to do the right thing. But even if you desire to do the wrong thing, I hope that you get it. Hope you get all the money that you want. I hope you get all the pussy that you want. I hope you get all the dick, all the things that you desire so you can figure out none of that shit matters. I hope all y'all get everything you want and everything you desire quick. So that you could realize that it don't even matter. That's how much I love you, man. <laughs> he said, you're not cutting this video. Where's your wife? Tell him, tell him to stay. Why y'all want me to stay here like this, man? I got to go, man. Y'all know we can't do no three-hour videos. Come on, baby. They want to see you. Hey, y'all want to say hi? Hold on. Say what's up. I gotta bring this on here. Peace reflections. Peace reflections. You getting blocked? Getting Sean. blocked. It's a block party. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted. You gonna get blocked. Oh, someone wanted me to give you a hug. I read it a long time ago. Aww. It said, give me a hug. Aww. Give me a hug, please. Okay. It's okay. They Let's want see. you to get. They want you to give me a hug. Yeah, they want me to give you a hug. It's all good. Love, love, love. Uh, but please check out the new website, masterteachernatureboy.com. Yes. There's astrology on there. We have a community. Create your own tribe. We have chats. We can do, we're going to go live. There's a live stream. Oh, live stream. Yeah, live we're going live on there too because, you know, YouTube been messing with my videos where they like cutting up. Someone told me about my videos messing up on YouTube. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're going we gonna to have that popping in a minute too. So, you know what I mean? The live thing is going, we're going live soon. All right? Yeah. They don't want me to get off, but I got to go. I got to go, Reflection. Go. Share the video. I'll be on here again. I, yo, I really miss y'all, man. I really do. But I really need y'all to make these movements. I need y'all to get active and seek ye the kingdom of God. Love yourself. Know thyself. Please, that's all that seek ye the kingdom of God means. It means know thyself. All right? And y'all shout out to Nature Girl Fairy right now. You know what I'm saying? She, 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 come, she, she, she on the way. You know what I mean? She doing a couple of things right now, but... Shout out to Nature Girl Fury. I love you, baby. Peace reflection. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come on. It's all good. Um, yes. What's up, ZCR? ZCR in the building. What's going on, Roni? God King. I love my self-reflection. We got to dip, yo. We got to go because it's, it's getting, you know, you know, attention spans be crazy for later on. I got to make sure they get the downloads. But uh, yeah, man, I'm going to be back up. Y'all contact me on Nature Boy, uh, MasterTeacherNatureBoy.com, mm -hmm. all right? And make sure y'all um, go log in. Log in to Nature Boy. You can, you can sign up. Mm -hmm. You can log in, sign up as a member, nature, MasterTeacherNatureBoy.com. And we're coming up, and we're coming up with an app reflection. The app is coming. It's real soon. 
All right? I love myself, man. Peace. Love yourself.